millions of people around the world live with diabetes or know someone living with diabetes. It occurs at every age, every population, every race, and every shape and size. The National Health Strategy follows the Qatar National Vision, which is for 2030. And the National Health Strategy is uh, focused on uh, integrating the services to uh, ensure that the patient journey in the system is seamless and to ensure also the, that the best care is provided to the patients wherever they are through the system. SIDRA is a new world-class healthcare institution that focuses on care delivery for infants and children, as well as women, particularly pregnant women, and those who require gynecologic services. SIDRA is a unique organization here in the Middle East in the sense that it has recruited physicians, nurses, allied health professionals from literally around the world who are experts in their field. And so the idea here is to create a center of excellence that really does focus on very significant disease processes that not only affect people in this region, but around the world. I think we have a very unique situation in that we have a research branch sitting right in the hospital and we are very close uh, to the patient environment and to the patient reality. Also, our research strategy is aligned with the necessities and uh, the vision for the hospital as a whole. And so we are focused on the diseases that affect especially the regional population and of course with a major focus on diabetes both type 1 and type 2. In Qatar, the Ministry of Public Health estimates that around 23% of the population suffers from diabetes, which is around twice the World Health Organization's average uh, estimate of diabetes worldwide. It's uh, becoming much more prevalent in children, and also there's a gestational diabetes rate in pregnant women of around 23%. And as Sidra Medicine specializes in healthcare for women and children, uh, diabetes is a major uh, focus of our research. We've embarked on a unique national project where we hope to recruit every child with, with diabetes in Qatar and to try and understand the biochemical and the molecular mechanisms of diabetes in every child. I've never seen actually as many cases of diabetes as in Qatar over the last five years. And these children, they are going to grow up and we all know that diabetes will affect the arteries, the coronary arteries of the heart. So we are trying now to follow these patients by checking their cholesterol levels, lipids levels as they grow so that we can introduce uh, interventional measures. But of course, most important is to control the uh, diabetes in these children so that the side effects of the disease will be minimized or prevented. Without appropriate education, much of the evidence shows that children and families are unable to manage on a daily basis, the burden of diabetes is too great and the outcome of that is that health related outcomes are poorer. So considering that children and families here will have diabetes for many, many years, ensuring that the education they receive as children is effective allows them to have better health-related outcomes into adult life. I can say that at Sidra and also in Qatar, we are using the latest technology for treatment of the patients with the type 1 diabetes. Uh, the most advanced um, uh, closed-loop systems that are available, we just started to use in the last maybe six, uh, six months. Actually, it's a hybrid closed loop and it's only available at Sidra in Qatar. We are part of this vibrant biomedical community here in Qatar. There's multiple institutes that work together to try to deliver all the technologies necessary in order to deliver better patient care in the future. The Precision Medicine Program at Sidra is built around three pillars. The first of these pillar is genomic medicine. We try to offer a genome-first approach for every patient and family that walks into the hospital. The second pillar is deep molecular phenotyping, where we use omics technologies to try to molecularly characterize every patient that walks in to better understand the manifestations of disease. And the third pillar is translational therapeutics, so trying to take what we learn from the research side and use it for better interventions in the clinical side. As such, we think that the Precision Medicine Program at Sidra is built to look forward to a better future for patient care. QDOS meetings series aim to target areas of human health related to underlying mechanisms of metabolic disease, biomarkers, and therapeutic options. This year, we focus on childhood diabetes, 
we aiming to bring together award leaders in diabetes research to discuss current issues and innovations in diabetes technologies, treatment strategies, and also uh, any other issues related to mother and children with, with at risk of diabetes. Sidra Medicine is one of the most beautiful places to work at in the world. Everything about Sidra Medicine is majestic from the statues of embryonic development sitting outside of our building, all the way to the healing gardens that are available to patients and families inside our building. And everything about our facility is state of the art, from all the infrastructure that we have, all the machinery that we have, um, all the people that we have, and that's what makes Sidra a very special place to work, is we have brought very intelligent people with state of the art technologies to a patient population that is really in need. And we hope with that to deliver the future of medicine for the country.